everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last episode, making an EVA foam, Star Wars Battlefront Shock Grenade Part 1, you saw us get most of the grenade built. Uh, and you saw how darn easy it was. It was a bunch of circles, pretty much, except for the gears. And we just layered them up, we cut some bevels, and you saw us mess up a little bit in our calculating for the little center area. So we had to do some surgery, cut it out, put a new piece in, uh, but super easy, really easy to make most repairs because it's foam. Um, and now for this episode, making an EVA foam Star Wars Battlefront Shot Grenade Part 2, we're going to finish the build, we're going to get it all completed, then we're going to move into sealing it and painting it, and then we're going to move into putting our cool metal pull ring on there. So, if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. All right, here's our last little detail. We're gonna cut these circles out. With our little brass tube, and we're gonna get right in the center here, and we are going to spin right through it. Nice, perfect little circle. All right, there we go, perfect. All right, now we're gonna dremel the edge of this off. Super glue down there. Now we're gonna come in. get a lot of pressure on here because we want it to stick flat on a round surface. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drill through this piece because we're gonna go out and seal this and we wanna drill first. So we're gonna drill a hole through here. You can see we got the little hole marked right there. Very simple. We're just gonna come through and we're gonna go right through that hole. Okay, let's get over here so you can see what we're doing. We're just gonna go right through it Now we're going to come in with a thicker bit. Now we can go a little bit larger still. Drilled right through it. Now we're going to seal it. And when we're done sealing it, we're going to attach this ring on the side. All right, let's head out to the spray stand and let's coat it. Okay, we're out at the spray stand. We're going to coat our shock grenade. And like we always say, even if you're in a well-ventilated area outside, do not spray without your respirator. All right, there we go, dig that. Look at that, sealed in a few layers of Plasti Dip, and you've seen how we kind of spray half of it good and then give it a few minutes out in the wind and out in the air and it dries enough to where you can then switch it around and hold the part you just sprayed and spray the other part. Um, or there's things you can invent, ways you can invent of holding it. You can drill a hole in it and stick a wire in it and hold it by the wire we drilled through this piece right here. We probably could have fed a wire through there and we could have held it on the wire and that way we wouldn't have had to touch it at all. But whatever you want, whatever works for you. So there we go. Sealed in Plasti Dip. We're gonna give this some time to set up and then uh, we're gonna paint it up. Nice. All right, time to paint. So what we're gonna do, really simple. We're gonna get silver all over our brush. We're not gonna completely cover it. We're gonna leave some kind of like slight see-through areas. 
All right, there we go. See that? How you can see some little like dark areas in the corners. And we're just gonna keep going. Now it doesn't matter if we hit silver on these two pieces that we're gonna be painting later because we'll paint right over that. So we're gonna... Nice. And that little darkness that gets left in the corners is just so natural looking. Very. All right, and then we've got the, the black that stays inside the crack here, which is exactly the look we want. This is really starting to shape up nice. That is so cool. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with our brush. Just lightly drag across in here, and it kind of fills it in a little bit, but leaves little empty sections because it's dry brush. All right, now let's compare. All right, see in here? It's pitch black all the way at the bottom. We want some silver in there, so here's the fix. Look at that. Notice how it's not pitch black down at the bottom anymore. We used the dry brush, and we just dragged a little bit across. That's nice. All right. Nice. Really nice. The dry brush drags across and doesn't completely cover it. Gives you kind of like a broken up see-through effect, which is exactly what we want. <laughs> Gadzooks, that's cool. Check that out. Nice. Cool. All right, let's give this a little bit of time to set up. Then we'll start doing the other color. All right, now we've tested out a couple colors of paint. Right here we have this really, really light kind of gray-blue called Silver Marlin. That's too light, but this is kind of the winner right here. We got some pewter that has this like blue metallic look. That's exactly what we want. So we're going to come in. We're not going all the way into the corner, though, because we want to leave black in the corner. All right, there we go. Just keep going. Okay, now if you can notice, we're leaving a little, still a little bit of a black stripe around it because we want it to still have that dirty corner feel. All right, that's it. We're just going to keep going. We're going to go all the way around our top and bottom cylinder pieces. Looking good. Check that thing out. That is stupid crazy. All right, let's give it some time to set up and then we'll go in for a second coat. So we're just going to continue taking our time, going around, putting our second coat on. Look at that. That looks like two different kinds of metal. Really nice. And you saw how the second coat of the uh, pewter filled in really nicely. All right, there we go. Hot dog. That's cool, man. Look at that. Nice. All right. Okay, while our grenade dries, we're going to deal with the little stencil on here. So what we did was we drew out our stencil, which is right there. And we're going to put this over our, put some blue painter's tape down, and we're gonna bring this and put it over the top of our blue painter's tape. And we're going to come in, and we're going to cut right through here. And just like that. And then we get rid of this. Now we're gonna come through our whole pattern Cut right through it, stop right at the corners. All right, almost done. Now we're cutting through the paper and the tape. All right, that's gone. Now let's move. All right. 
There we go. There's our stencil. Pull it up real carefully. All right. Nice, look at that. There's our stencil. <laughs> really cool. Now. Look at that. There's our sweet, sweet pattern. Now what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna come in here with our white. We're gonna get... Now we're gonna come in. And we're going to leave some gaps because we don't want it completely filled in. All right, there we go. We didn't completely fill it in, and this is why. We're gonna come in. All right, dig that. Got the kind of worn off pieces on there. Nice, 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 nice. That is really cool. Love it. All right. All right, now we're gonna come in and we're gonna put our mud wash on our grenade to dirty it up a little bit. You've seen us do this before. We're gonna come in with black and brown. There's some brown. And there's a little bit of black. Just a little bit of water. Now we're gonna come in. going to dab it off like that. That's it. Just put it on, dab it off. That's it. Just slop it on there. You don't you don't have to be neat. Wow, that's got a nice amount of crud on there. That is sweet. And then, all right, now we're going to put some darker random spots on like that. And then you just leave it. Like that. And you just dab it lightly like that, and look what it does. It leaves that real cruddy residue on there. Ooh, man, loving that, loving it. Just like that, over our white part, which seems kind of scary at first, but then when you come in, Look at that. Nice, we're gonna go right along that edge right there. See that, just take your time. Sometimes you just barely dab and look what it does. Whoa, that is so cool. Really nice, wow. Just like that, find a couple random spots, barely tap it and it leaves a bunch of residue on there. Look at that. Ooh, man. That's legit grime right there. Dab it all around there. We're gonna come in with our paper towel. Dang, look at that. Man, that thing is covered in grime. That has a very nice effect. Look at that. Now we left a bunch of black in the crevices and stuff when we came in with our sponge brush, but that's not quite enough. When you come in with the mud wash, that really adds a nice layer of soot and grime. Um, perfect, you saw how easy that was. We came in with our mud wash. Little brown, little black, little water, not too much water. Got it kind of like a mud, and then we just went 
area by area, dabbed it off. And what's so cool too is as the rag starts kind of getting a little bit wet, it helps you kind of add a little bit extra exactly where you need it. So really cool. You'll get used to doing this really quick. It's a super easy technique. Um, and what you got to do too is every once in a while you got to go back around and make sure you're you find any places that are still like really really wet because you don't want it to like run over the side and that looks kind of bad but wow that is perfectly gross all right now we're going to come in with our cloth tape and we're so we're going to start here we're going to wrap it around just like that really easy look at that now we're going to do the other side all right there we go and we're going to wrap around there like so now we're going to try to get a little bit of the corner done as well so what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to cut this just a little bit thinner, just like that. And we're going to start right here at the corner. All right, nice. Look at that. Last one, we're going to cut it off and then we're going to cut it a little bit thinner just for the corner. Start it in the corner and this tape is really flexible so you can smooth it down. All right, there we go. Check it out. Got a nice black wrap around it. We're going to get our sponge brush covered with silver and we're going to just hit parts of it. We're going to leave some parts black just like that. All right, that's all we're going to do. Now when that attaches on there, that looks sweet. All right, we're going to give this a little bit of time to dry and then we're going to gently pull this apart we're going to feed the two ends through these two little holes and it's going to be on there and that's going to complete our grenade oh yeah all right here we go now we're going to come in we're going to peel that apart we're going to feed this in here Squeeze these together and then we're going to grip it with our grips. And we're going to squeeze it in there together like that. All right. <laughs> there we go. Nice. All right. There we go. All right. We've got a little bit of residue from the tape right here. Let's see if we can get it off. All right, there we go. All right, another lesson in making a quick fix. This is a lot cleaner looking with the three pieces on there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get a little bit of our silver out and we're going to cover up where we didn't hit on the black tape and then we'll be all set. All right, just a little bit. Pretty darn close. There's a little bit right down in there. All right. All right, there we go. Sweet. I like that. I like it better without the corners taped. I like that a lot. All right. All right. Now with that final little fix detail, that brings our Star Wars Battlefront shock grenade build to a close. Boom. 
there you go. That easy. Piece of cake. All right, you saw how we finished the build, and then we moved into sealing it with black plastic dip and painting it. And uh, you saw how easy the paint job was. Three simple colors, two for the metal and one for the little white stencil on there. You saw us do a little stenciling, really easy stuff. And uh, we didn't have to mask anything. The paint job was so easy. And when we were done painting, you saw the fun technique of getting a mud wash going. And how you just go little bits at a time, dab it off, and then step back and look at it, decide where you want to maybe bulk up a little more stain, and then you go in there and you do it. Really easy. No uh, real strategic way to do it. Just whatever you feel, you do it, you get down on it, and you have a good time. Um, and then we moved into uh, our last detail, which was this cool little metal pull ring. Uh, you saw how we bent the, the metal rod to be able to make it. You saw how we drilled through here. And you saw how we did a little revision on the fly here with the uh, tape around uh, the pull ring. Real easy stuff. Turned out great, man. That thing's so cool. Love it, love it. All right, so that concludes making an EVA foam Star Wars Battlefront Shock Grenade Part 2. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.